From the self-proclaimed righteous boobish producer Kenichiro Takaki comes a new beat-em-up game called Uppers, which trades in the titties for some extra testosterone. Originally developed for the PlayStation Vita back in 2016, overseas fans of Takaki's work wondered if the game would eventually make its way to the West. Two years after its release on Vita, Marvelous announced that the game would be making its way to the West on PlayStation 4 and PC. However, since that announcement, there was radio silence on the game's localization, and it didn't help matters when Sony's new regulations started hampering niche Japanese games. Most gamers waiting for this game to come out thought it would remain in localization limbo and eventually be cancelled. This all changed in 2020, when the game's new release date was finally announced for PC, along with the cancellation of the PlayStation 4 version. The game finally released on October 24, 2020 for PC via Steam, bringing its hot-blooded beat-em-up action in an HD resolution. This game was developed by Bullets, who were most known for the Kenka Boncho series, one of which made its way to the West on PSP under the title Kenka Boncho Badass Rumble. Fans of that series could see Uppers as a spiritual successor in some ways, since the Kenka Boncho series took a more ultimate-focused direction in recent years. Uppers features a roster of 13 playable characters, though only three are unlocked at the start of the game, which are the two main characters, Ranma and Michiru, along with the guest character from Senran Kagura, Daidoji. Over the course of the game's story, you will unlock the remaining 10 characters, who each have their own fighting styles. The story follows Ranma and Michiru as they aim to be the strongest fighters on Last Resort Island for their own reasons. Ranma being the most loved guy on the island, and Michiru to be the strongest. You will encounter other characters during the story, who each have their own reasons for aiming to be the strongest of the island. Of course, this wouldn't be a Takaki game without some fan service, and there is some to be had through the various girls that fall in love with you, and the lucky L moments where you're sent flying into a girl's breast, or between her legs. With all the waiting and uncertainty revolving around the game's release, was Uppers worth waiting for, or was it a complete downer of a game? As a disclaimer, I reviewed Uppers on two different PC setups. I used my main PC which consists of an AMD FX8350 CPU, Radeon 580 GPU, and 16GB of RAM. I also used my laptop which uses an AMD Ryzen 5 CPU, GeForce GTX 1650, and 8GB of RAM. Now let's take a look at what worked in Uppers with... The Good. The combat is very easy to understand since you will be using a mixture of light and heavy attacks between characters. I like the moments where the fights get intense as you bob and weave around opponents and hit them with counters and follow-up attacks. Another thing that was fun were the environmental interactions where you can knock enemies into parked cars and send them flying. You can also kick around certain objects like gas canisters and barrels and you can even knock enemies up into helicopters. These moments are always fun to watch. The story isn't anything deep, but I found it to be enjoyable since it gives all the characters some time in the spotlight, and it was cool to see some of their interactions as the story progressed. I like the selection of the main girls in this game, who are known as the Queens, who provide your characters with buffs during combat. You can also dress them, as well as Ranma and Michiru, in different outfits you unlock as you progress through the game. You can also change the panties of both the Queens and the fangirls you get love letters from. One last thing is that thanks to this game being on PC, the load times are very short. There was an initial load when booting up the game, but after that, everything takes about 2-3 seconds to load in, though this may be helped from me using an SSD hard drive. Even though the game benefits from being ported to the PC platform, it's not without its issues, and we'll be discussing these issues and what else didn't work when we look at... The Bad. The combat is easy to understand to a fault, where most of the combat will consist of mashing the light attack button for your main combo while throwing in some occasional heavy attacks to launch away enemies. With some of the options you have available in both dodging and environmental interactions, it's disappointing that they couldn't add more variety to the combos you could perform. Speaking of variety, there are 13 playable characters, but it feels like a majority of them have very similar fighting styles and it's not helped by the simplified combat. 
It would have been nice to see these characters have their own combo list to help further differentiate themselves from each other, but as it stands, only the bare minimum is put in. Another thing frustrating about the combat is the camera, which becomes very hard to control and starts to get in the way as it gets too close to your character or cuts off enemies that are targeting you, leading to attacks that seemingly come out of nowhere that you can't prepare for. It becomes clear which girls in the crowd are the main ones that give love letters, as from further examination, you can see the other girls only have about 3-4 to four frames of animation each. This wouldn't be something I would notice if it weren't for the side missions you complete to get the girls' love letters. Speaking of, these side missions can range from okay to downright frustrating and tedious to complete for two reasons. The first reason comes from the description of the side missions, which can be downright vague at times if it has to do with some of the context-sensitive events that happen in combat. Unless you already know what the context-sensitive event the description is telling you about, you will be completely lost as to what you need to do until you uncover it by accident. The second reason comes from being in range of the girl giving the side mission to complete, which will lead you to baiting enemies back to girls just to do whatever they told you to do, and you better hope you have enough enemies left to complete the mission with. Now, I'm no Puritan and I love my fair share of fan service but the panty slots feel like an unnecessary distraction when it goes full screen at random. Thankfully, this can be disabled so that the flow of combat isn't disrupted. One last thing is that this game was not optimized well for a PC, as it contains a plethora of bugs and glitches which start to get in the way of gameplay. Some of the bugs I ran into were character after images during the upper rush cinematics, your character freezing up during the pole swing events, and one instance where the enemy froze up and was unable to be hit. On my PC using the FX CPU, I experienced a lot of slowdown when the combat got hectic and when viewing the girls you meet in the journal section of your apartment. This was not apparent on my Ryzen PC, which ran pretty smoothly for the most part, so you will need an up-to-date PC for this game, despite the fact that it's a port of a Vita game. The fact that it's a port also becomes apparent when you see how washed out the backgrounds and animated videos are compared to the character models in-game. It would have been nice to have all the backgrounds upscaled for this PC port so that the character models didn't clash with them. Now, with all that out of the way, it's time that I give... The Opinion. Despite all the grievances I had with the game, Upwards is a pretty fun beat-em-up when you focus on the combat and ignore the more frustrating side missions the fangirls give. The story is also fun to go through and doesn't take itself too seriously where things start to feel overly dramatic. All that said, the side missions, bugs, and simplified combat really bring down the experience to where I can't recommend purchasing this game at full price. If anything, if you're looking for a fun beat-em-up with fan service, I would recommend checking out either Simran Kagura or Valkyrie Drive over this game. If you're looking for a beat-em-up without fan service, then I would recommend checking out the older Yakuza games on Steam, as they're now very cheap and offer more combat options and a good story. This game is by no means bad, but I would only get it at a deep discount. And now, it's time for my rating. I will give Uppers, this picture of Billy Harrington, out of 10. Rest in peace, sweet Anaki. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next Infinite Backlog review. If you enjoyed today's review, feel free to check out some of our other videos and subscribe for more. You can also follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and our Facebook page. Once again, thank you for watching.